Welcome back to another show and tell video. Today we're taking a quick look at a vintage glass insulator. This one is made by Whitehall Tatum Company. You can see their logo right there. It's all glass. And they are one of the, I guess, oldest glass makers in the U.S. And, um... This is a model number one made in the USA. There are some other additional markings, a 20 right there. The White Al Tatum Company, their logo. Um, the number one, I believe, had three other CD numbers, uh, designations. I believe there were 153, 154. Four and 155 so I believe this is a model 154 based on its uh, bell skirt shape and the rounded top dome with uh, thick glass I believe the 153 had a flat thin top and then the 153 had more of a tapered uh, skirt shape as well but um, these were made uh, by White Al Tatum between 1922 and 1938, if my understanding is correct. And what a glass insulator is, is um, they were originally designed, I believe, in the 1850s uh, for helping the hanging of tele telegraph lines from telegraph poles. So in order to insulate the wires from the wood of the cross beams on the telegraph poles, uh, these glass insulators will be used to help suspend the lengths of wires between the poles. And one example, I've actually cheated and actually went ahead and made a couple of crude sketches. If this is the traditional style of telephone or telegraph pole because these were used later for electrical wiring as well this would be mounted on the cross beams on uh, what are called pins and then the wires are actually attached with uh, latching wires around uh, the ridge of uh, the ridge groove of the uh, insulator itself. So if we take a close up, closer look, this will be an example of a pin that would be threaded at the top. These are typically made of wood, which is also uh, less conductive than metal. And you can see with the threads in there, this would thread on top of the pin. The pins would be driven into the tops of the cross beams. Um, and it's the wires, the link, as the wire goes between pole to pole, there will be a coil of wire looped around, uh, usually an insulated wire itself, looped around the live wire, and this would then string off and loop around the ridge of the insulator itself. So at no point does the actual live wire come in contact with the insulator and therefore come in direct contact with the pin and therefore the cross beam itself. So well, that is the design of that. So if you actually see um, still existing telephone or electrical lines, uh, you know, you can take a look and you might see some sort of evolution of this design and there are other uh, larger uh, more complex shaped glass insulators for more uh, high voltage lines as well but the main point is uh, to keep uh, current from flowing from the wires to the um, um, suspension poles themselves thus causing electrical and fire hazard process so again we're taking a quick look at a glass insulator from White Al Tatum time frame 1922 to 1938 and uh, it's all glass and it does have some heft to it because it's uh, 
pretty thick and quite sizable in order to have the insulating properties. So this has been another show and tell video. Feel free to check out other show and tell videos on vintage mill serp tools and expanded topics. We also do unboxing videos as well as a series of book review media reviews and a series called Curios for the Curious videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.